Welcome back to the farmstead. We're glad you're here. We've got something a little different today. Uh, me and my buddy Dan, we're going to go talk to some third and fourth graders about bees. And we thought it would be cool to take our Nature's Image Farm observation hive with us. So we wanted to show you um, what our uh, observation hive looks like and how we use it. So one of the cool things about the observation hive is we can put, we can go right to one of our 10 frame colonies or a five frame colony and just move it over um, into this. This will hold a five frame deep. And what's cool is on top is we can open up the viewers and we can look right inside. Now we can see everything kind of going on. We've got some vents on top. It's just a really easy way to be able to show everybody what's going on inside of a hive. One thing that we do though, is after we get our bees in, we'll put a little a uh, bolt and a nut on there just to keep these latches tight so we don't have to worry about any little curious hands opening up a whole hive of bees inside of a classroom. Let's take it apart and then move one of our colonies over right into it. Take our lid off. And there's a good amount of bees in here. Take a quick look. This is um, a package that we installed not too long ago, and um, they're already drawing out the wax on the very outside edge. Uh, we installed that package probably about a week ago. You can see how booming they're doing. Look how fast they're drawing out that Premier Foundation. They're just going to town. They're already loading this up full of nectar. And if you take a look, you can actually see, if you zoom in, you can see day old eggs. So this one's doing great. She's ready to go, she's laying well. So that's a nice that's a nice frame for now i'm just going to put that right here in the center or keep those eggs warm another real nice frame the side here is full of uh, all kind of eggs and if we look at the back side full of larva You zoom into here you'll see the larva we'll keep that in the center we'll keep that warm and here is a beautiful beautiful sight Nothing but eggs and larvae really going to town, laying well. And look here, we already have sealed brood. That's awesome. Got another frame that's completely full of cat brood. This colony is uh, fixing to bust soon. This would be a fun frame to kind of put up top so the kids could see the pollen, they could see the honey. Look how pretty this is on this side. Also want to make sure that we find the queen and it looks like she's going to be on this frame we've got day old eggs it's right there let's go ahead and mark her so the kids can find her so we'll put this frame right back in here for a sec we'll use this year's color which is yellow just like that I'm going to give her just a second to dry off. 
and then I'm going to put her on this frame. Isn't that much easier to see? And I'm going to go ahead and put her right in top. Put our top cover on. And then I'm gonna go ahead and fill this bottom box with the brood that was inside of this one here. So we're gonna go ahead and put this one over. And this box here, we've got a lot of capped brood. So we're gonna put the cat brood on the outside and the open brood right here in the center. Now I don't wanna overpopulate this box. I don't want it to get too warm. I'm gonna bring this inside uh, the house tonight so it's ready first thing in the morning. So for now, I'm just gonna go ahead and put um, just a blank frame in there with no bees, just so they stay nice and cool and they don't get overcooked. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and put our top on. I'm gonna latch them down. We'll make sure our entrance is closed, which it is. How cool is that? We're gonna let the regular field force just do the regular thing for the day. And uh, when we get done tomorrow with the kids, with the observation hive, we'll bring it back and put everything in. It's fun. You know, when you're gonna teaching kids or other people, it's fun to let them be able to see exactly what the colony does right inside of the box. So I'm looking forward to getting to those third and fourth graders classrooms, show them the bees, get them excited about bees, get them excited about pollinators, and it's gonna be a win-win. Hi guys, good morning. Hey guys. Good morning. Nice to see all you guys. I'm Greg. I'm Dan. What are we here for? Bees. Bees. Yeah. Did you guys know that one out of every three bites we eat come from a honeybee? What? Think about that. One out of every three bites that we eat is because a honeybee is pollinating those fruits and those vegetables. I'm seeing a lot of like, whoa, are you serious? Isn't that crazy? Yep. Now they don't make the Laffy Taffy or the Jolly Ranchers or the Lobos, but they make, they really help the apple trees um, and almonds and all kinds of uh, produce and vegetables. And the sweetest thing of all, honey. Honeybees are a super important part of our system, aren't they, Dan? Extremely important. Dan, what's your favorite part about honeybees? Honey. Honey, <laughs> who doesn't like yeah. And so the honeybees themselves, they pollinate the fruit. And on their little legs, they have these little things called pollen baskets. They're just really neat little, you know that bees have knees? Yes. What? You guys do that? Yes. No. I, I, oh my I, gosh. I think you guys know more about bees than we do. That is awesome. Today, we wanted just to share with you just a little bit, I think about how special bees are and what, and what we do with bees on our farm to not only help beekeepers, uh, but to help everybody make good, healthy, delicious fruit. So we're really happy to be here. I want to thank Mrs. Baker and the school for having us. You guys are awesome. Um, and uh, we're looking forward to sharing with you guys a little bit more about bees. Well, Dan, somehow we did it. Somehow. We were able to talk to kids about bees. And I could have probably talked forever. Oh, we always can. There was a great group of kids, third and fourth graders. I can't believe how much they knew about bees. Spent the whole week learning. And it's finally good to come in here and top off the whole uh, week of uh, learning for them with us coming out and bringing bees with us. It's fair to say that those kids probably know more about bees than we do. Yeah. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. We took the observation hive in. Uh, they loved it. They got to see all the bees. They even were able to find the queen, see pollen, see honey, see larvae, see the whole life cycle. They had some great questions. 
um, it was a lot of fun to just share a little bit of beekeeping with the kids um, and keep that education process going. And I think a lot of them may be interested in being beekeepers. I think we're gonna see a few come out of them classes. Yeah, so uh, anyways, we're looking forward that they, they made a bunch of beautiful photos for us. They had a lot of great questions. We had a lot of fun. So I wanna thank the school again for having us out here. Looking forward to doing it again. And uh, remember to uh, be the lighthouse and be the change you wanna see in this world. We'll see you next time. Hey, can you help us out? Hit like, subscribe, share with all your friends, and be sure to check these great videos out too.